guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah. I create fashion and lifestyle videos. We're all about just living a more beautiful and intentional life. So if you are into that type of content, then I would love to have you as a subscriber. But let's just go ahead and jump into today's video, which is my top 10 picks for fall. These are closet essentials that you can feel good about investing in for the season that are not going to go out of style next season. Um, I will have a fall 2020 trends video coming up very soon, but these are closet staples. So these are not trends. These are items that you can feel really good about purchasing and you're not going to waste your money on them just for them to go out of season next year. These are 10 picks ranging from accessories to jackets to dresses, a little bit of everything for you to have kind of like a well-rounded, almost capsule-like wardrobe for the season. This is not a capsule wardrobe in the sense of like Pinterest 2010 where everything was like a white t-shirt and a black blazer. This is definitely a more modernized version of that, um, but just things that you can feel good about investing in for the season. All right, so let's jump into the very first item, which is this lovely floral dress from Zara. I will, of course, link everything in the description box below for you. Um, but just a long sleeve floral dress is a great addition to your wardrobe, especially for the reasons of layering and transition. We all know that fall is so fluctuating that one day you'll walk outside and it is 80 degrees, and then another day it's all of a sudden 60 degrees when you're freezing. So these floral dresses are so great because you can wear them now and you can also wear them as the season starts to progress, layering it with a lot of different jackets, which we'll get into in this video as well. Um, this print I just thought was really lovely. I loved the black detail with the pink. Um, again, this is from Zara, I will link it below, but it doesn't have to be you know, this specific Zara dress, but any long sleeve floral dress to add to your wardrobe would really be great for the season. So the next piece is a leather skirt. So in this video, I'm actually wearing a faux leather skirt from Cupcakes and Cashmere, and this feels almost identical to this real leather skirt. This is a $400 leather skirt, whereas the one that I'm wearing today is I think about one 10 and it feels almost just as good of quality. Um, so if real leather is not in your budget, then a faux leather of good quality would also work really well. A faux or real leather skirt is absolutely essential to fall because leather is something that really is timeless. Of course, leather will go in and out of seasons. It might be specifically on trend one season or the next, but leather is obviously a timeless fabric that you can incorporate into your wardrobe without worrying about it fading. A leather skirt pairs so nicely with tights and boots during the fall. I also love the way that it looks with a really chunky sweater. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. So leather is really just such a great classic. Um, as you can see, I'm styling it today with a really beautiful and feminine top. So you can kind of dress it up with a pair of either booties or um, to the knee boots as well. So that's kind of the cool thing about leather skirts is they look good both with tights and booties or um, a knee high boot. But all of these items, like I said, are so versatile. You're able to wear them a lot of different ways and especially as the season changes, you can adjust it as needed, which is why these items are so great. All right, so the third piece is a plaid blazer. Now, of course, it doesn't have to be plaid, but I do really enjoy a plaid blazer just because, again, plaid is something that we see, of course, in the season for fall, and it, of course, is particularly on trend one season or the next, but plaid is also just a timeless fabric. This is something that's been around forever, especially a style in this kind of color scheme. You're not gonna worry about it fading or going out of style. This specific one is from ShopBot by the brand Lioness, and this is in the size extra, extra small. This is from last year so I will make sure that I link it below if I can find it or any variation of the style I'll be sure to link it the cool thing about these lioness blazers is actually that they um, are a classic in this brand's line so you will always find these blazers um, but you may just not find the particular fabric so they may come out in like a black a white you know navy and then every year they'll come out with like a different pattern as well so the good news is is that this exact blazer structure is definitely going to be available um, so just find a color and a pattern that will fit for you i wear this blazer all the time i also have this in the navy color as well and this is again something that works really well for transitioning from work to weekend um, back when i was working um, out of the house i would wear these types of blazers all the time because they looked super cute and chic for work but again you could take them off and you know if you're going to drinks or something after work you could wear a cute top underneath it and it won't look so professional but i also think that this looks really cute for weekend wear i have paired this with like um, really cute high-waisted mom jeans and a black t-shirt with like loafers and it is also really kind of effortlessly chic for weekend wear as well all right so the next two picks are of course a tweed blazer i have two here for you today 
Tweed, again, is such a timeless classic, especially if you think about Chanel. You know, she is known for Tweed. This has been around since literally like the 1920s, so you know you can't go wrong with a good Tweed fabric. This is a houndstooth tweed that is by Kate Spade. Um, houndstooth, if you remember, was super big last fall and spring. Um, so I actually picked this up during the springtime, getting ready for fall. Um, so houndstooth is not particularly trending right now, but as you know, houndstooth is something that, again, is classic. It's been around forever. So if you do have houndstooth pieces from last year, do not be afraid to wear them. So again, this one is specifically from Kate Spade, but I know you can find them everywhere. I will link a bunch of different options below. So this is more of like a classic style tweed with the black and white, but you could also go for something a little bit more fun with something like this. This one is from Hunter Bell. This one was gifted to me by the brand and I actually really love this one because um, it's just a fun take on the classic tweed. It's a little bit more updated, a little bit more fashion forward and fun. Um, and this particular print I think is actually really perfect for the fall time. Red is really huge this season, which we'll get into in my next video, which will be the fall 2020 trends video. Um, so this is kind of a more fashion forward, trendier take on a classic tweed, but still classic enough to where you can invest in it and not worry about it going out of style. Again, tweed jackets are perfect for layering. I actually think that they pair really, really well with leather skirts as well. I think that the contrast of the leather and the tweed makes for a really cool textured look. I think one of the best things you can do in terms of styling an outfit is incorporating different textures and elements, you know, so different styles of fabric. I think when fashion gets boring is when we pair a lot of like the same fabric types together, whether it's like cotton on cotton or denim on denim, I think that those looks can be a little bit more boring, but when you incorporate several different textures and fabric types, it really elevates the look and makes it look super fashion forward. All right, well, we of course could not talk about fall without talking about a leather jacket. A leather jacket is something that none of us are new to. We all know that a leather jacket comes with fall. My husband especially is absolutely just a huge leather jacket fanatic. He wears them as often as he can. It's like his signature look. Um, and it wasn't until about two years ago that I decided that I was gonna go for a leather jacket. I used to think that leather jackets were only for really edgy, cool girls, and I was always a little bit more feminine and romantic in my dressing. Um, but then I realized that leather jackets are really for everyone. So even if you are a more feminine, romantic dresser, the actually the contrast of a leather jacket with a more feminine dress is really so beautiful. Um, so if you think about pairing a leather jacket with something like this floral dress, you're going for something that's very romantic and pretty, but also more fashion forward and perfect for the fall season. This particular leather jacket is by Eero, so it is an expensive brand. It is from Paris. Um, of course, there are so many different leather jackets on the market. I will link a couple of other affordable options in the description box as well. This one I've had for, I believe, two or three years now, and it has held up so well. I have no scratches on it. I've taken very good care of it. Um, and again, if it is gonna be something that you're gonna have in your wardrobe for 10 plus years, then it's absolutely worth the investment. So we have one more clothing item before we get into accessories. Now, I know that we have a lot of jackets featured in this video, but jackets are something that we know are timeless. They live in our wardrobe for such a long time. Um, and again, if you are going to incorporate some fun trend looks in your wardrobe for fall, then this is why these kind of anchor closet staples will really help to well-round your wardrobe and prevent you from making the mistake of buying only trends for the season. So um, like I said in my next video, which will be the 2020 trend guide, you'll be able to kind of pair these classic staples with those fun trendier pieces, and you'll have both something that is current as well as timeless at the same time. But anyway, getting back to um, this jacket, this is again an older option, again, because like I said, these are timeless, these are classics, these are pieces that have been in my wardrobe for seasons, um, which is a good sign. Um, but this one is from River Island. I believe I got this from, I think Nordstrom or ASOS, I can't remember, a couple of years ago. Um, and I think this is about like a $120 jacket, um, but has lasted me so well for the past couple of years. But a suede jacket in general is just a classic. Um, I think if I were to repurchase this again now, I would probably go for more of like a beige slash cream suede. I think that that would look really pretty with a lot of my um, items that I have in my closet right now. But pick a suede that matches all of the clothes in your closet. So. You know, you could go for a darker brown or even a black if you want to. I personally wouldn't go for black just because I have 
blazers and leather jackets that are black. Um, so I think having something brown makes my wardrobe a little bit more versatile. But again, pick a shade that will match your style. Again, I will link all of the picks that are similar to this in the description box below. I have three accessories left for you. In terms of accessories, I think that a black and gold belt is absolutely an essential. This one here is obviously from Gucci. I got this for my birthday a couple of years ago, and again, it's lasted really well in my wardrobe. Um, I think that this is the 70 inch belt, so it's made to be a little bit more of um, kind of like a dress belt, so it sits more above your hip as opposed to right on your hip. So if you have high-waisted jeans or you like to wear dresses, um, then the 70 is really good for you. Um, if you like to wear your belt right on your hips, then you'll probably want a size that's a little bit bigger. But again, it doesn't have to be a Gucci belt. Just a black and gold belt is something that really can take a very basic fall outfit and just elevate it. Um, so maybe you are wearing just a faded mom jean that's high-waisted with like a cute black bodysuit. You can throw this belt on and some gold accessories and you look so chic without really trying that hard. So again, does not have to be Gucci. Just a black and gold belt in general is such a great addition to your fall wardrobe. I know that Zara often has them. And I'm sure a lot of other retails will have them as well. So I will, of course, link it in the description box below. Now, you didn't think I would be talking about fall without talking about Gucci's. I mean, we cannot talk about fall without talking about boots. I have two pairs here by Just Fab. So I've partnered with Just Fab a lot in the past and they're not sponsoring this video or anything, um, but I have been surprised by their boot quality. This pair in particular, I have worn out a couple of times already and gotten so many compliments on them and they are surprisingly really comfortable. Um, I will say that some of the more high, taller boots can be a little rough on your arches of your feet, but booties, especially from them, I have really not had any problems with, especially with the block heel. Now, this kind of faux leather with a pointed heel, especially in this color wave, is going to really elongate you. So if you are short, if you're petite, wearing this with a pair of jeans or even skirts is going to actually elongate you and make you look taller because of the point and the nude coloring. So um, I'm about 5'3", so this type of shoe is so vital in my wardrobe for fall. The other pair that I got from Just Stab is this pair right here. Um, this is um, a suede material in a little bit of a darker brown color. Again, um, this is not as flattering as it's more of this kind of square toed heel, but this particular um, boot type is also really popular for fall. Um, just this more kind of square rounded look. All right, so the last item that I have for you is actually earrings. So these are gold hoops. Gosh, I can't remember where these are from. They're not expensive, but again, I will link similar ones in the description box. But as you have probably seen on Instagram and other things, gold jewelry is so big right now. It's kind of been creeping up over the past couple of years. Um, it kind of started from that French girl style. Everybody was really loving that look of kind of um, that effortless French girl look. So the French actually wear a lot of gold jewelry, which is where a lot of this kind of trend came from. But again, Gold is a metal that is timeless and will always be here. So you can't really feel bad about wearing gold hoops. You know, they do kind of hoops and things do go out of style in and out, but I remember my mom growing up wore gold hoops a lot. And so it is kind of cool to see that now I'm a mom and I'm wearing gold hoops. So things always kind of come back around again. Anyway, um, gold hoops are the thing right now. So you definitely need to pick yourself up a pair of gold hoops. You can go for a couple different styles. Um, this style is more of a chunkier, larger hoop. You could go for something a little bit more dainty and small, like a huggy. Um, there's also a lot of different textures that you can go for with your gold hoop. They have like kind of swirl styles and fun little fancy, trendy things that I don't always go for, but there are a lot of different varieties of hoops right now to check out. Again, they will be linked below. Um, but even gold necklaces, those chain gold necklaces are really big right now. So just anything gold and French looking in terms of jewelry is gonna be what you're gonna wanna wear for not only fall 2020, but just something that you can have in your wardrobe for fall for the seasons and not feel bad about investing in it. And the last item that I have for you today is a structured black handbag. Now I know a lot of us are not necessarily going back to work in the typical sense. So maybe you have gone back to work, maybe you are going to the office. If you are, this is such a great work bag for fall, especially if you're a teacher or something. Um, this is by Brahmin, and what's cool about this bag is that it actually has a lot of space. You could definitely fit a small laptop or a tablet in it, notebooks. So I have been using this as my everyday bag and have been able to fit so much stuff in this. 
Even if you do not go to an office anymore, I think that this is still so cute and you can definitely wear this and just style it with all of your fall look. It does come with a strap, so you're also able to wear this as a crossbody bag or as a shoulder bag, which I think is really nice to have the option to wear it both ways. But as we know, a structured black bag, again, is something that's timeless, but also super cute for fall um, 2020. So those are my 10 fall closet staple picks that you can feel good about investing in. They're not trendy. They will be in your wardrobe for a really long time. As you can see, a lot of the items and things that I mentioned are from last season or the season before. Um, a couple of these things are new to the season, but that's how you know that these are closet staples. So if I just showed you a bunch of new things, then you know they could be qualified as trends. So I think the key to look for when you're looking for closet staples is A, versatility. So can I bring this piece into multiple outfits this fall? Will this print and fabric be around next season? And is the quality of the material sustainable? So if you think about those three things, versatility, um, fabric type, and sustainability, then you're really gonna know that the things that you're introducing into your wardrobe are going to last the test of time. So I hope that you found these little fall picks helpful and that you have so much fun starting to pick up these items for your fall wardrobe. I know that fall looks a little different this year, but we all could use an excuse to have fun in our wardrobe and to just enjoy life again. And maybe that means picking up a couple of cute things for fall, whatever it is, have fun doing it. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Um, I also have a fall boot guide coming up as well. So stay tuned for all of that fall content. Uh, once again, if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.